six hours with two ish, three hours of sleep, maybe three hours. I'm not tired. I'm feeling good. What's it like to be this good at life? <laughs> Day one of Italy, I guess. <laughs> Guys, today's the day. We're going to Italy. Bye, baby. Love you. Bye. Love you. Say bye to Farley. Bye, Farley. She don't give a damn about me. <laughs> bro. What's up, bro? With it, baby. My God. The good. Guys, we did it. We're in Rome. Wow. Some casualties. Man, it, like of all things though, <laughs> like <laughs> we uh, delayed. Yeah, we got delayed. Lost his bag. I, I, I already did like a thing where I wrote in my notebook. It was like five delays. Five delays. Two flight switches. Yeah. One airline switch. Which was wild. And now we're gonna add to the list one lost bag. That's right, guys. I think when you go overseas, something's gotta go wrong. I know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Sean's bag got here, but mine didn't. I don't know either. It's kind of upsetting. I'm probably gonna get jumped tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, but we're here and it feels good. We're here. And how out. many hours do you think you slept? I think two in the last 24 hours. Yeah, I think yeah. it was about three for me. So we're gonna go try to find uh, just like a cafe to do an espresso. Yeah, we gotta yeah. do an espresso, dude. <laughs> yeah. We need to. All right, let's All right, go. Let's go. Uh, let's go find some stuff. Let's go. Peter said to Paul, you know all those words we wrote. Just the rule. Just stumbled on this little area. It's like 10 minutes, not even, it's like three minutes from our from our Airbnb. Aquario Romano. We're not in Wicker Park anymore. <laughs> got a girl in the war, man, I wonder what it is we've done. Paul said to Peter, you gotta rock yourself a little harder. Pretend the dove from above is a dragon. I could get back on a plane right now and leave after that, <laughs> but I won't. I'll stay. Turn up the music and pray she makes it Tasty. All right, that was a beautiful little experience right there. Off to the next spot, huh? Off to the next spot. I could get used to this thing of just like waking up in the morning, getting an espresso with you, planning our day. <laughs> yeah. just do it. This is the life. Yeah. All right, next up we're hitting up the uh, the Coliseum. Not going inside of it because I suggested not to. Sean's never been in there. I told him we could go if he wanted to, but I went in there last time I was in uh, I just Rome. I would have battled you in it. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I would have actually would be, battle you to the death. That would be worth it. In the Coliseum. If we could, that like how YouTubers box. Yeah. If we could do a YouTube. Logan Paul versus KSI. Gladiator. If we could do a gladiator match. Yes. Sean versus Corey. I also forgot how much I hate when you vlog because I look tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that evens and out. I, I need to go really. I am tiny, yeah. but I don't need an excuse to be more depressed. <laughs> yeah, you got the good angles. When you're vlogging, you oh, know how to do best. it. Yeah. yeah, I like to make you look like a little shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's intentional. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the Coliseum. All right, got something for Kylie. I don't know if she's gonna like it, she might hate it, but it was 15 euro, and I just feel like this is such a cool little sweatshirt. So I don't know, we'll see. All right, we're gonna keep cruising. Take 
Yeah, this is a basketball in the shadow of the Coliseum. Here's the basketball. There's the Coliseum. There's the basketball. There's the Coliseum. That's crazy. I'd be hooping here every day if I lived in the Imagine wanting to be in virtual reality, as you can see, I don't know if you see all the headsets. Imagine wanting to be in virtual reality when this is your reality. The Coliseum is here, and instead, you're here checking out what? I don't understand. Well, teach their own, I guess. It'd be pretty crazy, Coliseum. That's uh, it's pretty incredible. Not my, not my first time seeing it, but it, it does not get old. Coliseum, super sick. But we're about to head to the Trevi Fountain. On to the next spot. Let's go. And a one and a two and a three and a four. Sick. Just for context, the kind of church that we found right, right by the Coliseum. We're just cutting from the Coliseum to the Trevi Fountain. Just needed to give some context on what the hell that was. Basilica <laughs> di San Giovanni. Oh, there you go. It's pretty in there, though. I like it. Give me a new single, make me a new baby gonna eat all the candy while you straddle and lay me gonna know all the words before you come on tap. Then I sing them back at you while you try to nap while the wild ride so it's Just casually some ruins everywhere you walk in the city. It's so incredible. Every time we go to go to a new spot, we just run into like five new things that we wanna check out first. This is awesome. Break it on down slow Slap to the radio Slap to the radio Slap to the radio 3.3 Oh, slap to the radio Slap to the radio Slap to the radio You know me, I had to go to a bookstore for see it. Look at this. This is a pretty simple bookstore. You're so surprised they like you You're so cute and so quick Singing, I got the moves of a TV queen here on a magazine, picking the truth in a new pop song. Don't you wanna sing along? Slave to the ready, slave to the ready. Oh, you got the Trevi Fountain, it's unbelievable. You guys know I lived in Europe for like two years, I've seen a thousand fountains. This is by far the best. It's it lives up to the hype. This one's incredible, it's fantastic. Come to Trevi Fountain, you gotta make a wish to toss a coin. All right, my bag's still not here, so I guess my wish did not come true. Highway blues and gasoline fumes, it's all I seem to make while I'm playing my tunes. I know the rules. All right, Trevi Fountain, sick as always. We're gonna go a little bit northeast of the Trevi Fountain to uh, Villa de Borghese. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's this beautiful part that uh, we're gonna go check out. So let's, let's head that way, explore a little more. And we're gonna do the same thing, take a little bit of ran random routes, see what we find. Up, oh, just spotted a dog, means I gotta go. Gotta go get some footage of that. Here we go. Okay, we're in the villa now. This uh, park is massive. I would probably suggest renting a bike or a scooter and cruising around in it. We actually did. We got the we got the bike, so <laughs> we're gonna cruise around like this. Driving glow for a rupee flow. It's okay if we lose track of time. Soaking up every sliver of light. Dude, our 
legs are burning. But I gotta tell you, this place is beautiful. This is the way to do to see this. You gotta rent something. Yeah. So you can see it all quicker. There's no way walking around here would have taken a whole day. Yeah, so now we just get to blaze through it in an hour. A little bumpy roads, you gotta be ready for that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna focus on footage and pedaling. Try not to choke We share stories And sing along Under the moon Harvest the blue Summer chills to fall Oh, that's fantastic. Mm. There's really nothing like the way Rome does pizza. That mm. meat is so great. Mm. So crispy. This is really just unbelievable, guys. Bellissima. Spoiler alert, the pizza was phenomenal. I'm telling you guys, if you didn't check out that number six for cheese video, you're a damn fool. Go hit it up. Now we're gonna go uh we're gonna go check in at the, the Airbnb finally. So we're going the wrong way. Yeah, it's uh, that way. All right, we're gonna go check in at the Airbnb <laughs> finally. Yeah, I'll let you know what we're doing after that. Let's go. This is such a classic. Oh, hello. Tight fit. Tight fit. Shut these. These European elevators are yes. very small, but, but very charming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're home. It's not much, but it's ours. <laughs> this is, That's a good point. This is this is really it. You know what else it is? It's, a little it's not expensive and it gets the job done. Yeah, yeah. right. Kind of like being a fan of number six with cheese. <laughs> we do have a little bathroom area, but this is this is really it. The really the coolest part of this Airbnb is location and then that stupid elevator. That's really cool and makes me scared. All right, we're gonna figure out what the hell we're doing for the rest of the day. So hold tight. All right, guys, we're gonna go do another number six with cheese food review. This one is a delicious pork sandwich. You guys better go be watching these and liking them, and commenting them, doing all that stuff. All right, then we're gonna do more Rome stuff. Let's go. Change of plans on the food. Place doesn't open till six today, so we came to get a beer at uh, Flan O'Brien's, a little Irish pub. Good call on Sean's part. He's the one who hunted this down. He's a, he's a little Irish genius, and very, very pale when we have this lighting. <laughs> Lager right here. Thank you, cheers. Good. Cheers. Cheers. I got something called the Peretti Lager. Not a brand I've had in, in the States, but delicious nonetheless. You can't see Sean's beer, but he's been just sipping on it, so I'm gonna slam mine in front yeah, of him. Yeah, that's um, not true. I don't, there you go, there you go. I had to put him to shame. Dude's been done. His ass has been full. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go get some food. Hopefully, I hope this pork sandwich place is open. Okay, so the double porchetta. Double porchetta. Mmm. The meat. Oh, the meat. Mm. It's like mm. creamy. Try the meat just by itself. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The flavor of it. What a fun combination. Beer and anything mm -hmm. for me. Sure. <laughs> I should go to a meeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or two. I'll drive you. I'll be telling my grandkids I never have about this sandwich. This is Alessandro. This is the this Making is the it legend. possible today. Oh. <laughs> the fifth, right the fifth generation mm -hmm. proprietor of this place. Since 1890. You guys, we just finished our number six for cheese food room. Second one, Air Bucchetto. Yeah, Air Bucchetto. Getting better, they just keep getting better. <sighs> Alessandro, the proprietor there, they've owned it for five generations. It soon started- Soon to be six. Soon to be six, his son's his son. there. Sorry, bud. They've been around, yeah, let's turn down here, since 1890. And we just spent like an hour talking to Alessandro about, and through like, communicating through just broken English. Yeah. Just talking about how like his family and the shop, the, there was like a poet who used to go there and wrote yeah. poetry and he's got pictures up on the wall and he told us how much the guy meant to him. And how much that sandwich and like porchetta in general like has brought so many people together on all these different continents and how much people yeah. like freak out about that place. That was the experience, like meeting an owner, a fifth generation owner and like getting enjoy a great sandwich that, that they, it, that was, that was cool. That's, 
I didn't I didn't show much of it on the vlog, but go check that yeah, video. Yeah, there's plenty out. of it, man. Me and Sean both are like, we both left that. And we're like, dude, this is the experience this, that we this want. This is why I love doing this. Like, yeah, those moments make going to Popeyes worth it. That guy, he, <laughs> dude, they kind of do. <laughs> yeah, that guy felt like a friend by the time we yeah, left. Oh yeah, man, that was awesome, man. All right, what what are we doing now? We got to go do a live. Okay, so we're probably gonna get some snack. Yeah, maybe a gelato, maybe some beers, maybe coffee, something, and then. Then we'll probably be doing some drinking. Yeah, maybe. then we're gonna go hit a pub or two. Yeah, so the day confused. I can't, I cannot tell you guys how much I love that experience though. That was, that was incredible. Please go check that video out. We've been up for 35 hours. <laughs> how are we still <laughs> going? All right, let's go. Live time. Switch cameras. Might sound a little shittier, but it's gonna look a lot better. This is so good in the low light. I love this thing. Compared yeah. to the Canon, I said I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the Spanish Steps. We're gonna go, go catch a bus. So uh, first time on an Italian bus for me. Probably yeah. not for you. Oh. You lived over. Oh yeah, I've had. It was. It's been a while. It's been a while. So uh, bus on Spanish we Steps. We could also scooter. Dude, you want to do that? It's like scary, but kind of fun, right? Dude, fuck it, let's scooter, let's go. I saw those up there and I was like, can we do that? All right, I think you convinced me. <laughs> let's uh, let's do a little scooter move here. Yeah. Sorry, this footage is horrible. It's hard to do this while driving and the cobblestone is not making it easy. All right, I probably only got about 12 seconds of usable footage during that whole thing, but I we hope it was worth it. Of this little area. Oh, okay, we gotta go park these bad boys. Tough on the cobblestone to get good footage, but we're at the Spanish Steps, and it was w probably way more fun than that footage could show you, because that was such a sick way to get around this place. Yeah. So we were looking for a beer, a place to buy beers, so we could have one on the Spanish Steps. You can't search party store in Rome. <laughs> But Corey goes, what if I just ask this restaurant to sell me two? <laughs> <laughs> they just sold us two Heineys. So we got a couple Heinekens. Go sit on the Spanish Five Spanish. bucks a pop. It's, oh yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go gra grab a beard on the Spanish Steps. One of my favorite pastimes in Rome. <laughs> Look how pretty. Dude, for real. I do love it. All right, check it out. Whoa, the moon is huge. Probably see, where's that? Right here. Right there, that's the Spanish Embassy. That's the name of these big old steps. They're the Spanish steps. It's cool, it's kind of just like, it's not quite a piazza, but it is kind of like a hangout zone. A lot of times on the, at least on Fridays and Saturdays, there are people out here playing music like guitars, there's people selling beers, there's, there are people selling a lot of other things like toys for kids and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just usually like a like a nighttime hangout spot. And it's a great place just to like come and chill, go grab a restaurant beer. <laughs> what a sentence. All right? So uh, after a long day of walking, that's what we're gonna do. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. our beers at Spanish Steps. Of course, I, I had to wait for old uh, Sippy Cup over here to... You like waking up a liar? <laughs> also, calling somebody the, their old Sippy Cup though <laughs> is <laughs> maybe one of the best insults you could give someone. <laughs> old Sippy Cup. While lying. <laughs> while, while lying. Actively while lying. The one that you, he just finished his beer and <laughs> turned the camera on. <laughs> oh my god. But we are, we are gonna cruise off from the Spanish Steps. We're gonna line back to a uh, scooter. If you guys don't know, we're gonna line scooter back to uh, a bar. But this time, because I could basically get no footage, I'm not gonna try to get footage of putting this camera away. <laughs> that was dangerous, reckless, and uh, I'm telling you, it didn't get that good of footage. I can feel it. I haven't hit the editing deck yet, but I can feel it. So uh, next stop, some random bar that we find. Maybe some another Irish pub that's actually a bar. Yeah, not a, not a club. Maybe it's called the Druid's Den, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's cruise let's it. Go. All right, first spot, some live Irish music, Il Fusto. Let's go hit this uh, banger up. I can hear the, the little fiddle cruise. I can hear that fiddle cruising from here. <laughs> Sean's mocking me. <laughs> take two. <laughs> no take two with me, let's go. Old time, 
saying another table's table. I can't help it. He just, he doesn't know. He just literally, he doesn't know these people. They were here, let's zoom in. They, they were drinking here and he decided, you know what, I work here now, I'm a bus boy. <laughs> He's drinking while he works, which is very unprofessional. I'm not helping, <laughs> which is my favorite part. And I'm just watching him do this. The fuck's wrong with this guy? Psycho, so real quick, we're checking to see if any more bars are open. So far, the sign says no stupid people. Should we look it up and see if it's a 3 a.m.? Open. Did you think that after uh, getting three hours of sleep you'd make it up this late? I like, had this like weird thought that I was like, did I actually sleep six hours? I was like, why am I not dead? Yeah, right? I've been up for 36 hours with two-ish, three hours of sleep, maybe three hours. You're not tired. I'm feeling good. What's it like to be this good in life? <laughs> Day one of Italy, I guess. <laughs> Irish bars? We did it all. For the fun. Druid's Den was sick though. Everything about this city is great. Tomorrow, this is what happens when you close out of all my videos, all my vlogs. Don't get closed out till I'm fucking Yeah, hammered. but I think that means you're living a good life. That's kind of the stick of it all. Yeah. It's like, oh, Corey's finally fucked up. He's finally <laughs> either super hammered or high. You know what it is? It's, it's really nice that you know it and that you say it and that you accept it. <laughs> yeah, 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 kind of. Either way, today was an all timer. Which way are we going? Good night. <laughs> all right, we're all right. <laughs> Peace, guys, until tomorrow. I